This episode of Fuel the Fire TV podcast is brought to you in part by Kickaboo Meat Seasoning. Go to kickabooshops.com and enter the promo code FTFTV for 10% off all products and seasonings. All right, welcome to the podcast. I'm here with a couple of gentlemen, and I use that term very, very loosely, uh, from down south, southern Ontario, down uh, down the way where Nanabush used to do some teasing of his own and got chased out of Dodge uh, by some Mohawks. So I've got Ryan Burnham here from Six Nayway, and... Uh, I've got his business partner, Josh White. Now, you've seen Josh and Ryan on the show. Uh, We went down to Texas to do some hunting. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thanks for having us, man. Nice to be here. How was the ride on the Chichimon today? It's pretty rocky. (laughs) It was a rough rough (laughs) goal. For a big boat, those waves were pretty pretty big and rocking us pretty good. Yeah. Four footers in the bay. There more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Bigger. Yeah. A little bigger. Yeah. It was a. Uh... Josh got sick. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Felt like it. I ate some really crappy whitefish and tobe there, and it was a it was a tough battle. Didn't sit well. So then, and that's the reason why you didn't want to come on a salmon charter tonight. No. <laughs> There's other reasons, <laughs> but we want to hold a little dignity for yourself, so I won't let the people know. But it's a boat ride. It's a boat ride, not <laughs> fishing. It's that's a, it's a tour. <laughs> that's wash tours. That's li- <laughs> you got this this outfit all mixed up here. That's the east end of the island. Okay, three days, not a bite. <laughs> Nana Bush fishing charters <laughs> playing playing tricks once again. <laughs> Definitely. No, and all uh, in all seriousness, we we're, we're gathered here today uh, because we're on a trip to uh, a good oh, friend of ours start preaching. Said, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Just to join in, in holy matrimony. <laughs> Chuck and Larry, <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're getting married? <laughs> no, what kind of trip is this? What kind of podcast is this? <laughs> we're I'm out. Heading- I'm out. <laughs> Cut. We're heading up to uh, Rick Wesley. We're hitting up to the bow, Wesley Bow Guides. Now, these guys don't know who Rick and his brother Larry are. Uh, I did a brief a brief introduction via YouTube. Uh, we watched some bear attack, some bear attack video, which is always worth watching five or six times. Oh, I think we know him quite well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, can't what, wait to talk to him. <laughs> once you know someone's panic scream, you just you're 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 just bonded, right? Yeah, kind of like uh, Ty when we were in Texas. There, there was a little bit of a panic oh, yeah. scream when that that final hog uh, met its maker. I don't think the commentary was as good as that one, though. <laughs> no, no, no. The after the aftermath, and you know, I was saying to Rick, we had him on the podcast a while back, and I was saying to him. Um, those involuntary noises that you make, like when when you're at your, well, when you're you're fearing for your life, it's freaky. It's a freaky, it's a freaky experience to be that that close to. Well, yeah. he was that close to death. Yeah, right. Could have went either way. Standing eh? right on top of him. Right? On of him. Yeah, it was right on. Him. Yeah, on top of him. So, um, but we get to hang out with Rick and and my kids were always giving me a hard time. Because when I first watched the video, I just died laughing, right? And I think lots of times as niche guys and, and people in general hunting is that you see something like that and your first response is to laugh, right? You're like, holy shit, like yeah. that was it, right? But uh, once it starts hit, it's setting in, then, you know, it's it's well, real. Well, you're just happy that it hasn't happened to you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Imagine, yeah. Imagine like putting yourself in that position. Like, what would you do? Well, I would have probably stabbed him with the arrow. I would like to think I would stab him with the arrow, or you know what I mean, do something. But man, it's so fast. It you have so quick. He, he three have, seconds. He didn't have time to do that. If we yeah. watch that again, he. By the time it takes off and commits, right? Yeah. And and you know what? And and hopefully we'll be able to see this when we go up to Hearst with these guys, of some of that explosiveness in the bears. Yeah. We went up there, uh, or actually they filmed for us. 
and they had a young girl Mila who was shooting her first bear with I think it was 41 pounds so we were talking about draw weight she shot a 260 pound dressed bear so well over 300 mm-hmm. right and while it was interacting with another big bear right and seeing the power of those things is is amazing I want to see I want to see that that reminds me of the bear hunt we did last year and that little bear and uh, the other bear came in and he went up to the top of the hill remember and then he grabbed a little shrub you know like maybe an inch around and he starts just yanking Shaking. him out and yeah. like, he's mad as hell and but he's, he's scared he, pout, he <laughs> yeah. pouts up on the rock eh? yeah. he comes and sits on that chair and the other bear's eating his food and yeah, he's, he's just, just watching <laughs> yeah. kind of like us at the buffet yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Or people watching us at the moment. With the crab legs. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's neat to see, and I hopefully we'll be able to get them to some of that action in the coming days. I'm looking forward to that. Well, Ryan hasn't shot a bear yet, so. No. Right. I've never even seen one. Right. So. Other than that Sasquatch you saw today. Other than Marine Land. (laughs) (laughs) We honestly saw Sasquatch today. Well, you know what? It's interesting you say that. Because I actually thought you were going to say down the road here. Because I know somebody, uh, he's he's passed on, but I know he had a story about seeing a Sasquatch right right down the road. And Jess and I are firm believers in uh, in Sasquatch. We're, we're big Todd Standing fans. Me too. I, I actually told him about yes. him. And it's, I was a non-believer until I watched that. That's awesome. You watch that? I encourage anybody to watch that. Yeah, Todd Standing for sure. We ordered T-shirts. We still didn't get them yet, but maybe uh, maybe they're on back order. It was order. weird, though. Do they deliver out here? <laughs> <laughs> There's no street signs. <laughs> yeah, we had a hard time even trying to find it on Google. And I just gave you left and right. So I oh, didn't even know the road no, names myself. It in. He punched it in, and I'm like, kind of like guessing, like because I've kind of been here, and I'm like, okay, this looks familiar. And then Ryan goes. Mine said two and a half hours to your house. Yeah. And then his said 12 minutes. <laughs> Siri said, as soon as you get off the Chichiman, uh, you're on your own. <laughs> you're in God's country. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Best of luck. Man. Turn yeah. right. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, and your roads is just like, I don't think there's a straight road here either. So Yeah, they wind around a little bit. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. Well, back to the Sasquatch <laughs> thing, because it was interesting, because he goes just says it to me i've seen some you're gonna you're you're gonna laugh or you you're you're not gonna believe me and then i said instantly you saw sasquatch right (laughs) he's he's like like, bigfoot yeah bigfoot and he goes yeah and he looks at me like he had the look of and then like i said i saw but i was concentrating on the road too but i saw something dark too but then i didn't pay attention to it because then i looked down on trying to find where the hell i was and And that that was a crazy boat ride but (laughs) I definitely saw some. Something that was out of the ordinary tall. <laughs> yeah, like Would being you? a hunter, you, you're you able to see things out of the corner of your eye. And I saw that. And if he saw it, then there was something there. Yeah. 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 Now everyone's going to say, those two guys you have from <laughs> Southern Ontario are fucking crazy. <laughs> First thing they do is get up here and see a Sasquatch. First of all, they look like two fucking Sasquatches. Yeah. <laughs> sure it wasn't your shadow? It would have been the reflection of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Were you looking in your rear view mirror? <laughs> no. Yeah, but something was there and it was unexplainable. And you know what? In 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 the outdoors, something that like that, that, that stuff happens, right? And... You know, I've got good friends that uh, actually Jess, <laughs> Jess and, and Warren who, you know, they, they don't like to talk about it because it gives them a the little bit of the, the creeps there, but they heard a Sasquatch, right? Or they heard something that sounded like what they think Sasquatch is going to sound What was her name? <laughs> <laughs> you sure it was running up the driveway? <laughs> Tuckered up? Was, but the, drink, was drinking involved? <laughs> The noises that get made by screech owls and by mm-hmm. cougars and yeah. by bobcats, right? They they do. They're 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 a bizarre uh, noise to hear in the bush. Is it at nighttime? Just at dusk. Yeah, yeah. It was just at dusk. And uh, but can you define cougar for me? <laughs> was it two legged? <laughs> well, they were all. <laughs> They were saying that first they heard a bull, right? And, they, and for sure, and of course, 
actually the way it happened so my buddy Warren I got back to camp and these guys are already there and they're cooking and Jess is tending the fire and what you know they're not what they're not dudes? interacting they're just on their own right <laughs> so I go in there and I'm like oh, what's going on you know what'd you see and Jess is like oh, oh I don't know I don't, I don't know better, better go ask Warren I'm like Go ask Warren. I'm what the what the Let fuck him did be you the see? Crazy one, yeah, right? <laughs> like, right away though. It didn't take him. It took him zero time, right? So then he says, uh, "I th- I think we heard a Sasquatch tonight," right? So he proceeds to tell me this story, and so of course, what do I do? I start laughing, and I go into Warren, who's cooking spaghetti or whatever in there, and I open the door. I'm like, "Hey, did you see a fucking Sasquatch tonight?" <laughs> and he comes out the door, comes at me, and he's mad. He started like walking fast. Bust open the door. I, get, I stand back, right? Bust open the door, and he says to Jesse, I fucking told you not to tell anyone. Because <laughs> he didn't want... He was like, that's between me. Like, it's I, unexplainable, right? I don't want people thinking I'm crazy. Like? What did it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> this one I had come on when we were out there, it sounded like... Oh, hey! Sound like somebody's screaming. It sounded like he got off that bull moose and, and yelled. And there is no way. They actually heard a word. Like they almost heard like an audible whatever. And But there is no way a human could be there. And then they heard it w- way down as well, right? It took off or Within traveled. like five seconds, it was gone probably 300 yards. So, so I mean, it wasn't us because we can't run that fast. <laughs> so that eliminates you, dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, speak for yourself. I don't have to run fast. I just have to outrun him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope uh, yeah, we're that out. doesn't happen tomorrow. Yeah. There's Evidence no heavy clear. breathing. <laughs> Evidence is clear. <laughs> we're ruled out. Guilty. Now, you haven't, Ryan, you haven't shot a bear? Never. And, uh, and you obviously have. You shot yeah. one up here with us last yeah. year, you and Kristen. Yeah. I Again, a cool it. experience out in McQuamacon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was cool to see like I've done it before, but see somebody that hasn't done it and you know, like the in, interaction with all the different bears and yeah. you know, just seeing somebody else see it for the first time, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, she always talks about when the little baby bear came up to try to start climbing up the tree and yeah. and then we start whipping apples and stuff <laughs> underneath her tree stand. Mind you, we put this little white girl in, in a tree by herself, never been bare on it, <laughs> and it's actually closer to the bait yeah. than, than us a little bit on on our like nine she, o'clock. She's closer to the bait. She has no weapon. Yeah, just a camera, and just a video camera. And, and she looks over and she's like, "Shoot him! Shoot him!" But like, no. no. <laughs> and then it starts cl- climbing up the tree, and we're laughing, and she's looking at us like, "What are you guys laughing at?" Well, we were laughing because Neil was above me, and he leans over and says, he has to get through you to get to me. <laughs> yeah, I've I got lots of time. I'm good. I can, I can scamper up this tree. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. But, uh, you know, one thing about tomorrow with the Wesley Bow Guides is that their, their setups are way lower. We were up pretty high. Like, we were yeah. up almost 18 feet there. But these guys are about 8 feet down, so when... Uh, when those bears do come in, you're really close. Like you're, I had uh, that one that we shot uh, on video this spring. He came in and he was probably six yards. They look totally different when they're up close oh, like that. Kind of like the video we watched tonight there. Of, yeah, uh, that's close. Yeah, that's real close. <laughs> close enough for, for a blow dart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For that, sure. That's crazy. A blow dart to take a bear down. You a bear. Think. Have you ever seen that? Tim Wells? Tim Wells takes out a black bear with a blowgun. He actually does some spearing. He does a lot of that. And I've seen those videos in Africa. He actually almost died over there, yeah. right? Yeah, spear. Spear he fell, fell. He fell. He landed on the spear. I think he was going after a kudu. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then almost bled out there. Almost bled out. Yeah. yeah. When, so. when we went to Africa, these guys brought those same blowguns, same everything. There's all these birds, like little Franklins and Guineas. And yeah. I suck with the blowgun. I can't. Yeah. I couldn't do it. So we had this little Franklin, and they come right in front of the blinds, and <laughs> Ryan hands me the kill him. It's like two yards. I, I can almost poke it. <laughs> and I go, 
there's a little rock in front of it at like a yard and a half. <laughs> it's that ding. Rock. <laughs> if the dirt didn't kill it, his breath did. <laughs> no, but he was like out of he was out of air. He's like. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> you got that top quarter of your of your lung capacity working. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I just went back to sleep. <laughs> now, you guys did do, uh, we shared a little bit about the Africa trip that you guys went on. A phenomenal, you've been to Africa. Was that your first time, Ryan? That was my first time, yeah. First time there. Um, you know, and, and you took some of the uh, the prized animals of Africa, right? In, in that, in that oh. go-round. Our guide said we took like some of the biggest animals that he's seen. That around. sable was like a moose. I just couldn't believe how big it was when it was standing there. Even our impalas and stuff, like like people can say the pictures. You know how you can move them around and move your animals, but our our animals were just true. They were just huge. Like we killed some really yeah. really big animals. T said our guide when I shot that. That second Impala, he said, you don't know what you just shot. Right. Really tall antlered one. Yeah. Know, a couple guys from the res, we see animals walk in. Every, everyone's a shooter, right? Yeah. Can we shoot that one? Can we shoot that one? But when some of those animals walked in, he's like, these are... Prize. Yeah. These these are top of the line. Some yeah. people don't ever get to see these. Yeah. Um, what was another one there that was a cool one that you shot? The, well, the Kudu was cool. The wilder one beast. Uh, wildebeest were cool. Yeah. Um, warthog. That warthog footage was pretty sick too. Yeah. He was he was a, he was a toad that, that guy. That was the same night we were we were hunting. Ryan was going for a kudu, and we were in this place. Uh, it was attached to a golf course, and it had all this. And everyone's been seeing like twenty kudu and everything, oh. and. I shoot this warthog. It's it's good, and then all of a sudden it's just starting to get dark, and all these animals are coming. Kudu are coming, and oh, it's just all kudu. We can see all these kudu, and he like he's like, oh, kudu. he's like a kid at Christmas. And he's just looking around, and and they're they're coming. They're yep. everything's like, and he's he's got his bow and he's ready. All of a sudden, someone comes wheeling through there with a little motorcycle in the distance, and that and the 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 black people there they travel like on mopeds and yep yep but we found out later it was one of the landowners kids monkeying around or something and on a dirt bike scared on a dirt bike. all all it's of like, them away it's like a golf course and then there's like crop fields yeah and then he but they just, go into that stuff and they yeah. come back They'll go in and out yeah and then he was just ripping down a side farm road and scared everything away ruined the whole hunt and it, it, it was like a matter of seconds eh one nice just bowl one, was keep one more step yeah. one one nice bowl was really kind of hanging out at the back the others had come in there was a couple water water bucks there and yeah we thought that was gonna that be was the it time. now you guys you know. did shoot you shot water buck too yeah right yeah, a nice that, one that actually. was uh yeah. that was a shot our guy didn't really want me to shoot but by the time he said can you hit that my bow had already yeah off. yeah that, that's a funny if you look at the the footage I was actually getting ready to kill a bless buck that was sitting in front of the water getting ready to drink. And he wasn't even ready. He was sitting on a stool looking around at me. Yeah, and, I, was, I was observing, like, waiting to yeah, see, yeah. you know, him what shoot happened? his and, and then I'm sitting there, and I feel a tap on my side. He's like, water buck. Our guide, eh, T? Yeah. And he's like, I go, let Ryan shoot it. And then Ryan's just sitting there, and then he's like, grab your bow. <laughs> and Ryan's what? like, okay. <laughs> What am I killing? And then finally he's like, oh, yeah, he sees it. And then he, he goes, oh, I don't know. That's not a shot. Good shot. Can you make that? Whack. <laughs> yeah. And he, that yeah. thing tore off through, eh? The mm -hmm. bushes yeah. there, that looked cool. That was It, cool it was like a quartering away shot, too. So it, it hit it pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. thing I'll say about those, the trackers there, phenomenal. I've never seen anything like that. Anything like that. You'll look at the ground, and Ryan will even tell you about it. Every place has a track. Every trail has not one, but ten thousands of different animal tracks. But those guys will look at your animal that you shot, know those tracks, and they can find it all the way through all the rest of those tracks. It's amazing. Kind of like the tracking job you did on uh, Luke's turkey there in yeah. Michigan. That was a long tracking job. It was. Yeah. I 
it's funny we almost made a grown man cry <laughs> yeah. like he was just <laughs> so too. sad and then he's just looking what? at me what <laughs> so you fucking missed him was that the one who shot the fan off? Yeah, shot the fan off. He goes, no, I didn't. I didn't. I was, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. But that, that was funny, too, because the whole, the whole day, it was like, if you've seen the episode, we shoot three turkeys in there. But it was like three guys in a tiny clown car because we were moving <laughs> the blind. <laughs> <laughs> we're blo- trying to get to the next turkey. We're flipping around. Or, 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 was that your buddy Dan? Where he popped out of the blind and fell right back? <laughs> kind of like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. that was... But there were, we were surrounded by yeah. turkey and deer. It was a cool... Yeah. Uh, We'd have a tom a cool coming setup. in and then a herd of deer would cut in between the tom oh, and us and then just bust them. But yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Not, not like... we. We've been on some adventures, me and him, and I've got some friends. And, you know, it seems like all birds of a feather flock together. Cause he, he goes and shoots at this turkey, and our buddy Dan just rips the blind off over his head, and he's just gunning. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan looks at him and goes, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Had to work out some things there. Yeah. Some issues. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you hit them, you got to put them down. You know, and, and uh, have you guys ever taken a moose with your bow? Not with a bow. No, just a rifle. And, you know, I've come close to lots of times with, with my bow and haven't been able to. And it's actually a, a big ticket item that we're trying to do this year for season four is to harvest one. And, and um, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things that's probably of all the the animals I've hunted and whatever kind of adrenaline rushes we've chased that bow bull moose in the rut seems to be the top for me yeah right like I, I don't get, get blood pump in there. I don't get much more pumped up than that when when he's coming in like that and trashing and crashing maybe maybe a red stag in the rut when they're doing the roars something like that or an elk at the the height of the rut when they're bugling in your face uh, elk bugling like close to you just gives you like shivers chills. It yeah gives you chills like that right where 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 a moose though i don't know why and and an elk could do it just as easily because they're just as powerful right as far as kill you they would it would take the same amount right but that moose just seems like he's so angry when he's coming in and he's he's angry at you right and i guess and i guess elk is like that but man that moose is have you ever watched uh, any of Jim Shockey's? Yeah, all of the, especially the old stuff. Like, I don't know if it's just like his techniques, but when um, he gets those moose in the trance, yeah. and those big bulls are just kind of waddling towards him. They're almost frozen and stiff. And like, like he's just moving with the paddle. Yeah. And you're, you're like, how? Well, that was actually the footage I wanted to show you tonight, and we'll eventually get to see it at some point. It's of Rick. And what Rick, uh, Rick Wesley's done is he's created um, out of wires, coat hangers, uh, and nylon, these, these mock antlers, and he's attached them to his bow. So when he's walking at the, at the moose, he's holding that up, and it looks like a bull. It's light, right? Mm-hmm. We always have a paddle, or we always have, mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah. Well, he's got this on his bow, and it doesn't interfere with his draw, right? He'll show it to you. It's a pretty cool... Little slick so invention. Now he wants to get attacked by a moose. Yeah, so uh, well, that's just a matter of time. But he has taken some. The bear video is kind of dying down now. Yeah. So we, we need another viral, uh, yeah. viral video, please. <laughs> I should have shot him sooner. Yeah, yeah. tap and knock. Yeah, I can't wait to meet that guy. Just yeah, to, no, Rick and Larry just to are high awesome. five him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen you before. Especially the t-shirts are awesome too. Yeah, on the Weather Channel. <laughs> yeah, I saw you on the Weather Channel. It was in Spanish, but I saw you. <laughs> and that Spanish run just does like 20, 20 swipes in a row. Doesn't let up. Give the vi- the the uh, the viewer what they want to see. You know you made sure. it when Taj 2.0 roasts you. Yeah. Yeah, it's big time. Yeah, you've made it. Yeah, You're for sure. There. For sure. So, what's up next uh, for JR Wetlands? What do you guys... Uh, well, we've got you coming for right? the sweepstakes hunt. Sweepstakes hunt. Yep. That's going to be awesome. Yep. Looking forward to that. Because we're going to be one of the first to shoot. Yep. Right? on uh, in Down in Wapole at JR. Yeah, at our club. And uh, we just finished it off. Well, me and Ryan, like, 
a lot of time and well, you've been down yep. there and we've got a place now uh, like everyone talks about in our area and, and we're on this Lake St. Clair so our area we have Michigan Detroit everything's everybody knows about the place and it's right. like uh, 10,000 acres it's yeah we it's we it's not as big as it used to be now uh it's getting downsized just because of our uh our council and stuff are trying to downsize things i yep. don't know what it is but yep. we still have a lot of acreage and yep. the best part it's all private right so that's that's if you were to see that place when we first went and viewed it it was just a pile of rubble yeah like it was just busted up concrete because yep. there used to be an old camp there oh, at squirrel island yeah yeah it, yeah it was on fire it burnt down yeah right so when we got it, we had to start from scratch. Scratch, and to actually see that place, and you've you've been there. Yeah. To New see upgrade it now. to the deck now. You just showed me <laughs> pics yeah. of the deck. Yeah, the, the boardwalk. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's on the boardwalk. It's now. a boardwalk. Yeah. Well, it came in handy this year because the water in our area went up. I would say four and a half feet. Yeah. Because the bridge, remember the bridge yeah. that goes yeah. to the next island behind, was underwater. Oh really? Eh? That's how that we, high. That high. That's how high it is, and it's still underwater. And, wow. and and in order, like we were walking through water to get to the mess hall and stuff like that. So we did all this deck and it, you know, it's like a resort. You know, yeah. You, you don't have to step down. No. Nope, yeah. Nope, it's beautiful. And, you know, I've had, we've had like guys from Under Armour and Garmin and uh, we've got a group from Garmin coming in and they've seen video of the place and they're like, for, for the clubs that they've seen and hunted in. It's one of the nicest places to stay. A lot of the right, like even when we saw you at the sportsman show, for people to come up and actually already know the name, JR Wetlands Outfitters is you know we would look at each other and be like, wow, yeah, you know, it's start, it's really creating people are a talking. buzz now. Yeah, yeah, yeah for you sure. know for and what we've done as you know we I always tell him for a couple of native guys, you know what I mean? Like we went pretty large scale and. It's, it's taken a lot of hard work and we haven't worked out all the kinks and everything but you know like we did some major major leaps you know to get yeah. to where we are and you know how it is working with council and yeah it, people politics involved. yeah the yeah, politics so, much, and a, yeah. so many hoops to jump yeah. yeah and then playing that game and then also trying to you know just get get what you want and what your proposal was to get to get done and work for accomplished we, yeah. we're there now and it's now like okay this is the time where because we've never had we've always been building eh? like it, yeah. It, yeah. non-stop building and yeah. we've never had a year where we can sit back and say okay let's work it yes yeah. and th yeah. now it's coming up and you know it's it's, it's gonna be weird when that happens yeah but it'd be it'd be reassuring at the same time right yeah. You're and your fall hunts book up like crazy. Yep. Right. We do uh we do memberships. Uh we are we we have a few, you know, show show hunts that we you know, we everyone puts their name, you can win. Yep. So we have and then we've done the sweepstakes with you. Right. But next year we're looking to be totally private. There's not gonna be anybody that can get in there. Like exclusive. It. Yeah. Yeah. We're all we're almost there right now. You know, uh, but I told Ryan before I had a lot of clients before when I went in here and I never really want to say, well, thanks for you know yeah. helping me out all these years. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. I, no. You, Understood. You make, yeah. You make a lot of friends and yeah. You know. And they do. And they become friends. Right. Yeah. And they become, you know what I mean? It's, uh, those memories that you create they they do they last forever mm -hmm. um and you know and through the show and we, we've had this conversation and both of you you guys have children so you guys understand this is that we did a we cut an episode and it was a salmon fishing episode with my daughter and when i showed it to another dad the dad said that's the memory i i want to have with my daughter right which inspires him to go out and do that outfit and and, and try and do that and so create that for yourself. Charity? So he went with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Luke Wasagizic. <laughs> Luke would say he came with me and yeah. we made that memory happen. <laughs> but that's important, right? Because when they go to JR Wetlands, right, you're going to take, like we take this group of four people 
uh, on the sweepstakes who, you know, for all we know, or for all they know, that might be the only chance they get to hunt a place mm-hmm. like that. And they're, and it's with family, yep. right? Two brothers and, and, and the sisters in law. So like that part is, is an important part as well to, uh, to try and always move toward making people's memories better. Yeah. Right. Um, See, for what we did was we started it. My son passed away uh, a while back, and the initials, the JR Wetland, the JRW stands for Josh and Ryan Wetlands, but it's also my son's initials, Jason Remington White. Right. So we started this club together and, you know, worked towards that. And what we do now for kids and stuff, kids under 16 can come and hunt for free. We don't, we don't some places will charge them as you know they got yep. a gun we want we want them to bring their kids in and you know teaching that kid to hunt spending time with your kid that those are those bonds those are the bonds that i had with my son when he yep. was growing up loved to hunt ryan has a new son i know he wants him to hunt those yep. are the things that you know that that builds those memories and that that relationship with your with your kids too like right your daughter will never forget that right no absolutely and and right, you do a lot of work in that regard too, especially when it comes to uh, kids' sports, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, like multiple reserves now, it's getting into Josh's reserve, and would love to work, you know, with yep. your reserve here. Yeah. What's yeah. next for for Buck Down Archer? Now this is something you know, that Buck Down Buck Down is going to be expanding. Um, we're looking to have our own outfitting store yep. this spring and full out archery range on reserve which is you know unheard of anywhere and i saw the building it's huge <laughs> like it's huge yeah, yeah to to have a facility like that on reserve and to be creating a buzz already with it um, yeah you know it's something to look forward to for sure especially for a group of uh group of guys that started buck down yeah you know we never dreamed of ever doing something like that right it's just, it's just the passion of hunting and it's Try, trying to pass this. that on yeah, yeah for sure yeah and get kids involved yeah he, he got me into bow hunting while well, using a bow <laughs> yeah and the guy's like ah I'll take a rifle oh, i'll take a rifle yeah. i'll take oh, i'll use a bow yeah now i got that raven and you shot yeah. it and it's like yeah. shooting a rifle yeah what do you think it's, about it though think about how hard it is to get kids outside to, to just play today yeah you know how get them off the fortnight you know get yep. them outside even it's it's really hard so being you know being native and getting those kids outside and you know kind of going back to their roots and showing them other things as well you know living off the land that's that's important to me and you know that's our future so that's going to be buck down's main focus is to really grow um, on reserves and really reach out to the youth yeah and kind of reconnect them because you know naturally we're all hunters yeah and I think through that it can change it can change a lot of people it gives them something to look forward to other than sports you know that they're yeah they're lacking in a lot of communities so it's that's my that's my passion behind it oh good for you and, it, and it's a worthwhile passion it's actually I think it's why uh, you know, when when you meet people and you just instantly get along with them, it's because you are like-minded. Uh, we had some great times down in Texas. And, uh, you know, I've hung out with Josh now quite a bit and, and you on different occasions as well, Ryan. And, and uh, we always seem to, to have a good time no matter what. Um, but I think it's because of that. I think it's because we're connecting and and you guys know that, that healing comes from from the land right and uh maybe that's why some of our people are so sick is that is that they they, they're missing that like you said they're disconnected they're disconnected yeah yeah i really i really believe it a lot of our people are and if they just you know we just give them that nudge yeah help them along we can really make a difference yeah education's where it's at I, i i firmly believe that um, and getting getting kids outdoors, it's a, it's our whole model, right? Yeah. <laughs> fuel fuel your passion, fuel what what fuels that inner fire, whether it is you know music or the arts or whatever the outdoors, right? Do it and do do it. All, now, a lot of all times, a lot of times they just need the chance. Yeah, you know, 
they just need opportunity yeah you know for me it's more uh now it's therapeutic it's like the only time that even though my adrenaline's flowing i'm not thinking about what's going on tomorrow i'm not thinking about what's going on in the next hour i'm just so into that moment you know what i yeah. mean and it's yeah. like a calming like you don't you clear the everything. mechanism yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and if, like i i i'd miss that if i couldn't do that i i, I can't even see how you know when people say to me oh, I, I i don't like hunting that yeah what what yeah like and you don't can, yeah you don't understand what hunting's really about. yeah 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 it's not like it's not always about killing huge animals remember yeah. we had this discussion about because yeah. i shot a smaller bear yeah but for us me and right it's it's food he he donates a lot of the meat that they shoot we donate ducks we don't you know we're, we're yeah. it's you share it yeah yeah and, and there are lots of people looking for that especially on reserve that's part of the role that's that's yeah. the old way yeah. yeah you know that's that's the way it should be yeah you know and uh i think people tend to overlook that nowadays yeah yeah big hunts coming up what do you got uh what are you looking forward to in the next few months oh we're gonna go out to saskatchewan uh i think that's around the 21st september sometime. Yeah, 21st. yeah 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 and then uh we're going to ohio uh to shoot uh this guy has a, a big ranch and he's got exotics and stuff and he's got elk and so we're gonna go hang out there for i think it's twenty thousand acres he has so it it is high fenced but yeah. it's uh it's a huge you have to actually work at to get yeah. get your animals so we're gonna go check that out and then we're gonna do some hunting in indiana and uh, i think maybe in january i got a trip and I, if ryan's coming hope he does uh january 13th we're going to mexico to shoot some uh redheads and pintail oh nice oh, like mexico <laughs> <laughs> yeah now your book too i guess i mean you're, yeah. you have to do your own yeah uh, we start, outfitting as yeah. well we started uh well you're a guy you're, you guys are the first ones that come we in. get first crack out. yeah yeah and October that's great first. we can't wait for that that's gonna be a blast i've seen you shoot so yeah like dead Let's ducks go. everywhere <laughs> Uh, lots of shells laying yes, around. Yes, lots of shells. So we were monkeying around. He's like, let's let's make a commercial. And I'm like, okay. So he's shooting around and, you know, and then two ducks come by. And he's filming me the whole time. And this time he decides that he's going to try to fucking kill a duck, actually, this time. So he jumps up, boom, 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 just wastes a couple shells. And as I, while he's fucking around, I say, watch this double. One shot. <laughs> both of them come spinning down like that and I said did you get on that film he's like looking around for I do up. not remember it that way but I mean <laughs> I definitely got my share of misses on camera not all mine hard to believe <laughs> and, and he didn't film it this new gun he had this new gun right that's all I heard this damn new gun I don't it know it was his gun I don't know what the fuck's the matter with this whoa, new gun whoa, whoa. it was the over and under I got yeah so I'm testing it out I'm like I'm gonna see if this thing works he goes, fuck this. This thing's no good. I'm giving it to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. He was hyping it up. <laughs> wow. It's a nice gun. It's a beautiful gun. It crooked is. as fuck. This gun does it's not, not crooked work. at all. I'm going to give it to Ryan. <laughs> oh, it works. It just didn't work for me that day. I was just... I want my old faith, police. Yeah, says. every time I... Even a close bird, I, I pull up. And then I forget to, I think I got the trigger and then I'm like, oh, crap, and didn't, should I stroke it? What, what do I do with this damn over Talk and nicer. under? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, this gun sucks. <laughs> he made up for it second day, though, because yeah. he was like, you well, know what, you, enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying out to see if it works. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, it didn't work for me. No. <laughs> now, the, uh, you may be going to Africa to do a, a repeat. We're thinking about different things. I don't know. He, we went to South Africa last time, and uh, one of the first times I went, it, I went to uh, Zimbabwe, and we fished the river for tiger fish. It's a total different hunt. It's a uh, you tiger know, fish. Oh yeah, great big teeth. Like on a them. perch with teeth. Like it's a nasty. Oh yeah, 
25 yeah. pounds, yeah. That's but great. yeah, like the coloring, like it's really bright. It's got teeth yep. on it, like a but, barracuda. Yeah, yeah, like a barracuda. Yeah, I've yeah. seen those. And uh, my buddy that I, I do all these safari club shows with in Michigan and stuff, that's who I went with the first time. And everyone's like, holy, that must have cost you a lot of money. Well, when you have friends in the hunting industry, right? You're swapping. You're swapping, yeah. Come on. Uh, best story about him. So he's from Africa, right? And uh, I take him goose hunting. And I got this goose locked up, and it's just coming in hard. And he's just sitting there. He's, he's never seen a goose come in like that. And he's just, he's just buzzing. And he looks over at me. He goes, he's fucking charging, man. He's charging. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, it's a fucking goose, Doug. Get ready. And he's just so like, oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. just pumped up. Like it was a lion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now every time I take him on, I was like, Ryan, Ryan, they're charging. Shoot them. <laughs> shoot them. Shoot. Shoot. Shooting ducks. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was when we took Matt and Tone yeah. duck hunting. We have video of it. The ducks come right at us. Coming at you. like charging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's super cool. Um, so that Africa is a big, a big uh, possibility. Um, and I know at some point, I'd love to figure out a way to get down and do a red stag. That's also on the bucket list. Um to do that during the full roar. That seems to be a cool thing. We talk about that adrenaline rush. And, uh, but you know, what the hunt at hand we have is in Hearst and we have an early morning tomorrow, uh, up at five so that we can get an afternoon hunt in with, uh, Wesley Bogats. Uh, it should be an awesome, an yeah, awesome definitely trip. Definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm for sure. Pumped. I'm, yeah. I'm pumped to you. Like, you know, just, when when we went to Africa, you know, not, never been there, and then seeing that when he saw the animals, he's like, like I said, like, when someone took me to Africa, I was like, holy, you're just like yeah, you can't, can't, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it. Christmas morning, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and then you know, like we, I get asked all the time, you guys want to come and hunt here, you guys want to do this, but he's got a new baby boy. I got family. I got the club. Yeah, you know, it's, so it's hard for us yeah. to really. So right now, I'm pretty pumped. Like we haven't seen each other in probably almost like six months, eh? It's been so, a while. Yeah. yeah. So it's like like since Texas. Yeah, that was the last time we saw <laughs> oh, each really? other. Was Texas, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, we just go on with life. You know, talk. Right. And then when we get this chance to get together, and you know, go hard. Yeah. And then yeah. we always have a great time. So awesome. I'm pretty excited. Me too. Yeah. It's a long haul, but the Wesley Bull Guides are uh, are sure to keep us entertained. And and uh, we're going to wrap it up. We're always going to remember to fuel our passion and fuel the fire. Get yourself outdoors. Get others outdoors. And I know that's important. That's actually, that's what you guys do, right? Yep. Is you get yep. people outdoors. And uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in along the way. And look forward till tomorrow. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, sir.